Today I'm taking you through an African artist who has scored above all African music heavyweights as. He topped the list of African artists with the most subscribed YouTube channels. Nasibu Abdul Juma, popularly known as Diamond Platinums as a bongo flavor artist, singer, dancer, and CEO of Wasafi Records. He was born on 2nd of October 1989 at Amana Hospital, Dar es Salaam. Therefore, Diamond Platinum's age now should be 33 years. Not only is Diamond popular due to his success in music, but the artist is also known for his wealth. Let's take a look at the educational background of Diamond Platinum's. In 1995, Diamond Tanzanian singer attended Chakala Bora Nursery School. Later on, in 1996, he joined Tandale Magharibi Primary School. In 2002, the young Diamond Platinums commenced his secondary school education, which he completed and graduated in 2006. Immediately after high school Diamond Platinums decided to do what his heart desired. He wanted to be a musician since he was a kid. And now that he had graduated in 2006, he wanted to do music as a career. Diamond Platinums spent a better part of his formative years performing covers for both local and international artists in different locations and occasions. His mother, Sonora Kesimu aka Mama Don Gote, supported her talented son by buying albums from different artists and also helped him create lyrics for some of his songs. Additionally, the mother would take them to different competitions and talent shows with the hope that he would get a chance to perform. Some family members however, were against his music and greatly criticized the mother's support for it. Instead, they preferred that he be encouraged to focus on education, finish school, and then get a job. Funny though, they didn't know what the future had in store for the young Diamond. As it is expected, making it as an artist, especially in the competitive Tanzanian industry, is not easy. In fact, most Tanzanians believe that each homestead in the great country has a musician. Way back in 2007, Diamond was struggling to raise funds for a studio session. Consequently, he ended up in casual work such as selling second-hand garments, serving as a filling attendant and working as a freelance photographer. At some moment, he involved himself in illegal gambling, all to get that money to cater for his first studio single. It wasn't easy to save for the recording while fending for his family with the little he made. He was subsequently forced to sell his mother's golden ring in secret, and this is how he got the money for the studio session. It was his first time in the studio, and the song wasn't really an immediate hit. Even though his debut single wasn't a straight hit, it opened doors for him, marking the beginning of his journey to being the king of bongo music and one of the big names in Africa currently. Through his first song, Diamond Platinums linked up with Kitso Mapano who offered to be his volunteer manager in charge of supervising all his music. They had agreed to do an album, but all didn't go as planned. Unfortunately, financial constraints on the artiste made them call off the agreement, and the album ended up unreleased. At this point, dreams were shuttered, and loyalty was tested. Most of his relationships ended, and some friends changed to strangers. He couldn't get any studio to sign him and worst of all, his girlfriend left him claiming that she couldn't be with a man who couldn't take care of her and that she had no time for a dreamer who thought that he would grow to be a top Tanzanian musician. Too bad for her. Fortunately, in 2009, Diamondi Platinums, as he is referred to in his home country, met Papa Misifer who agreed to offer any financial support for his single Nenda Kamwambi. The truck was to be a hit later on, and it was the track that opened doors for the bongo star. On an interview, Diamond said this. I had a girlfriend and we had dated for a year. She was beautiful and I had nothing at that time. She started changing and found another person who gave her more money. She came straight to me, to my face and told me, she couldn't be with a person who couldn't manage himself. I cried. She made me write my first song Nenda Kamwambi. After dropping that song, it became a hit, he said. 
He added that the lady came back to him later after Diamond became successful, but she could change nothing because Diamond had already moved on. In 2014, Platinum's earned a nomination at BT Awards 2014 for Best International Act. Africa. Platinum's has frequently collaborated with videographer-director Kenny for his music videos. The music video for WA, directed by Kenny, was nominated for Best African Video 2021 All Africa Music Awards. In 2022, he released his 10 tracks extended playlist known as First of All, FOA, where he featured top artists like Zushu, Adekunle Gold, Folklistic, and many other top African artists. First of All has been described as a blend of Air Bay, Bongo flavor, and Afrobeats, and to promote the EP. Diamond Platinums for the first time in Tanzania premiered all music videos from the FOA EP at the cinema. Diamond is a Muslim by religion. With his former partner, South African-based Ugandan businesswoman Zari Hassan, he has two children. He became a father for the third time with Tanzanian model Hamiza Mobeto. As of 2019, Diamond was dating Kenyan model and musician Tanasha Donna, with whom he fathered one son, born in October 2019. The two have since separated with Tanasha Donna flying back to her home country, Kenya. Dot Diamond is the cousin of Tanzanian socialite cum DJ, Romeo Abdul Jones, professionally known as Romy Jones. He also has two sisters, musician Queen Darlene, and entrepreneur socialite Esma Platinums. In 2010, he endorsed Tanzania's dominant ruling party, the Shama Cha Mapinduzi, CCM, and its presidential candidate, Jakayam Rishu Kikwete. He has released further songs with lyrics supporting CCM, such as CCM Tusson Jambele, CCM Let's Move Forward, in the 2022 Kenyan general election. Diamond Platinums endorsed and performed at the Ryla Odinga campaign rally at Kasarani held on 6 August 2022 just three days before the election. Have you ever asked yourself who is the richest musician? Well, many people have raised a lot of questions about the singer's fortunes and whether or not he's the richest artiste in East Africa. After years of speculative reports, it appears that the star could be among the highest earning and most influential artists in East Africa. He is the most decorated, paid, and sought-after bongo musician. According to the artiste, he is worth a whopping $10.5 million earning him a position as one of the most affluent artists on the continent. I haven't said that he is the richest but he is among the top 10 richest artists or musicians in Africa. This amount has been earned from his top-selling ringtones, expensive concerts, tours, royalties, and brand ambassadorial deals. He also earns endorsements from some of the largest companies in the world such as Vodacom, Red Gold, DSTV, and Coca-Cola. The Bongo star is also the CEO of Wasafi Records, which adds significant amounts to his income. All in all, the star from a humble background in Tandale is currently raking millions from his passion. Diamond Platinums is currently among the best musicians in Africa and worldwide. Thanks for watching. If you find this video interesting, give us a thumbs up without forgetting to hit that subscribe button.